What's going on there, folks? Uh, it is the Earthmaster here on the live stream. Uh, just doing a quick uh, update on uh, a little bit of new information coming out here by the uh, USGS Volcanoes. Uh, and in relation to the Three Sisters Volcano area in the state of Oregon, uh, there was just an article put out here from the USGS Volcanoes uh, site on their uh, media page showing, of course, uh, nothing different on the uh, alert level of the Three Sisters Volcano, but there has been uh, a definitely noticeable increase in uplift at this volcano. I kind of want to read over uh, a little bit of more information here on their page that was just put out about 25 minutes ago or so and there's links I'll provide links here in the uh, in the video description but uh, this is about three sisters volcano it still sits at uh, green and normal for now uh, US scient uh, USGS scientists have detected an increase in the rate of uplift of the ground surface uh, in the three sisters volcanic region of Central Oregon Cascade Range of course, uh, if you guys follow this channel, you'll know that we've been in a really extended period of, of uh, lack of trimmer. And trimmer is uh, the uh, Cascadia subduction zone and the trimmer and the whole plate uh, dynamic in the subduction zone is what creates these volcanoes. So I believe that's got something to do with uh, the lack of trimmer activity uh, contributing right now to the uh, uplift uh, there at the uh, volcano. Uh, let's read on. Um, uh, the volcano's status remains green, normal green, and there is no sign of an imminent eruption. Episodes of increased uplift have been observed in this area before and are attributed to small pulses of magma moving deep into the volcanic region. Okay, so small, but nonetheless, it's volcanic for sure. Uh, satellite radar images uh, detected an increased rate of uplift of a 12-mile diameter, uh, which is 20 kilometers, centered about three miles west of South Sister Volcano. The data indicate uplift of up to uh, almost an inch, 2.2 centimeters between June 20th and August 21st. Uh, GPS data from a nearby continuously recording station show that deformation uh, has continued to the present today. Uh, additionally, seismologists observed brief bursts of small earthquakes in October, December, and January, uh, most recent January 2022. Uh, most of these shallow earthquakes are too small to locate. Those located are inside the uplifted area. The present uplift is in the same general location where uplift was first seen in the mid-1990s and has continued at a generally slowing rate through uh, 2020. The increase in inflation appears to be a continuation of the extended period of uplift that is attributed to small pulses of magma accumulating at roughly 4 uh, seven kilometers below the ground surface. That's what we normally look at uh, when we're observing magma movement. Uh, from 1995 to 2020, the area rose approximately 12 inches at its center. Although the current uplift rate is slower than the maximum rate of about two inches per year uh, measured between these years, it is distinctly faster than the rate observed for several years before 2020. So we're looking at a major increase in the current uplift trend. Uh, this specific cause of the uplift is uncertain i think we all know the uncertainty the the certainty is that it's volcanic in nature uh, which means magma because the three sisters region is a volcanic area uh, the most recent eruption was uh, 2000 years ago near the south sister volcano the uplift may reflect a small amount of magma and placed at around four miles deep the idea of repeated intrusions at the three sisters is supported by a usgs study in 1990 that found evidence that heat and gases from magma had influenced water temperature and chemistry of springs located in the uplifted area. Uh, this research was published before satellite volcano monitoring began and well before the current uplift episode. Uh, in that context, we view periods of increased uplift like the current ones as a continuation of episodic deep uh, magmatic intrusions uh, that have likely been occurring for centuries or millennia in the Three Sisters area, but ultimately, right, could be pointing towards uh, a future eruption, if you really think about it. Uh, while any magmatic intrusion could eventually lead to a volcanic eruption, uh, an eruption would likely be preceded by detectable and more vigorous earthquakes. Like I've always mentioned here on this channel, uh, we'll definitely see uh, uh, earthquake activity ramping up in a big way around any volcano, 
uh, it, before this thing starts to go. Just having some coffee here and seeing this article pop up and thought I'd share it here on the uh, YouTube channel. It's pretty crazy when it comes to uh, uh, the lack of trimmer that we've been seeing here along the Cascadia subduction zone. And now the, uh, the pretty significant uptick in movement here uh, over the last uh, several months. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, of course, while any do, 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 ground movement, right, we would be preceded by detectable and more vigorous earthquakes, ground movement, which is deformation, and geochemical changes. In general, as magma moves upward during an intrusion, it causes continued or accelerated uplift. Fractures rock to generate swarms of earthquakes and releases significant amounts of volcanic gases, such as carbon dioxide. I think I, I smell a trip coming up here to Oregon real soon, folks. Uh, I may head up there this weekend just to see what I can find uh, there for sure. So remember that this weekend. Uh, we do not detect any of these signs currently. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so a lot of... Uh, here's their official statement when you click on that. Also, they just put out another... Uh, article here from the uh, let's see if I can find it this one was just put out about 18 minutes ago um, let's go ahead and read this one uh, they, it's kind of odd they put out two uh, articles just back to back like that uh, using satellite imagery of sophist sophisticated GPS instruments Cascades uh, Volcano Observatory geophysicists have detected a subtle increase in the rate of uplift of the ground surface about three miles west of South Sister Volcano, Oregon. Uh, episodes of increased uplift this is almost like a repeat. Hmm. Uh, episodes of increased uplift have been observed in this area before. Of course, everything's green and whatnot. Is this almost an identical statement? Looks like it. Uh, 12 mile. See what this says here? About 12 miles. That's kind of an odd deal. Hmm. A little bit different. Uh, so I don't know why they put two of them out like that. Maybe to make sure people see this. And maybe something's getting ready to rumble up there in the Cascades. Uh, uplift occurred back in the same region in the mid-90s during the 25 years. Uh, the area rose approximately 12 inches. Okay. We already read this. We already seen that. That's kind of crazy that they would uh, put out double articles like that. Uh, wow. All right. Anyway, a little bit of information here from the uh, Wikipedia site. Uh, our close, uh, the three sisters, I've seen them when I was up there visiting the Bend area in the central Oregon region. Beautiful area. But uh, you know, a lot of folks forget how those mountains are formed. Uh, three sisters are closely spaced volcanic peaks in the U.S. state of Oregon. They are part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, uh, each more than 10,000 feet in elevation. They are the third, fourth, and fifth highest peaks in Oregon. Uh, let's see here. Neither North Sister nor Middle Sister has erupted in the last 14,000 years, and it is considered unlikely that either will, either, either will ever erupt again, really. Uh, South Sister last erupted about 2,000 years ago and could erupt in the future threatening life within the region. Uh, let's see here. After satellite imagery detected tectonic uplift near South Sister in, 20, uh, in 2000, the United States Geological Survey improved monitoring in the immediate area. Really? All right. Um, uh, mountain type, uh, two stratovolcanoes, the south and middle, and one shield volcano, the north. So we're looking at a... Uh, a uh, stratovolcano potential here. Let's see here. There's a lot of information on this thing. I would expect uh, maybe Mount Hood or, um, of course, of course, maybe all these uh, volcanoes are starting to uh, show signs of uh, heightened activity. Crater Lake was having some uh, earthquake activity as well in recent times. See what we got here. I'm not going to go reading all of this, but uh, there's a there's a there's a on the map the three sisters and the other volcanoes within the regions of the Cascades. I uh, got Crater Lake here to the south, Newberry Volcanoes, another one. Three Sisters runs right about here in the uh, Central Oregon area, just west of Bend, Oregon. I did pull up a GPS system in that area. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a uh, a. Uh, we'll check that out here in a second. I'll show you guys. 
But uh, here's the article, uh, Modern Deformation and Uplift in the Sisters Region. Uh, shows you a little bit of the elevated view and the peak area of the volcano. Uh, talks about a little bit about the uplift and whatnot. Like I say, there was an uplift from 1995 to 2001. But uh, I think this activity that we're seeing recently is growing faster as far as the uplift goes compared to those dates. Uh, last volcanic eruption in the area was about 1,500 years ago. Um, do, 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 I know I've seen something down here a little bit here, a little bit closer. It talks about some older stuff. There's a GPS chart map from about 2002, a vertical uplift, and you can see the uplift continues and actually sharply rises as we come into the month of December, I mean uh, January. And that, uh, I know that's contributed to the uh, activity there uh, with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Something's popping, getting ready to pop there. Uh, either down below or at the locked area, I think. Um, but either way, it's definitely uh, contributed to the uplift that we're seeing there at the uh, Three Sisters area. Um, it's a pretty noticeable increase right there. See that? This little map, this little chart here uh, makes a major jump from the general trend of obvious, obvious uplift. We get these jumps right here. It looks like back in 2000... Uh, 12 2013 as well we've seen a little uplift there in the peak areas but uh, overall trend of vertical uh, displacement there uh do 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 recent analysis indicate that a renewed pulse of uplift the highest rate since 1999 began at south sister uh, starting in 2020 or 2021 uh do 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 Several small earthquake swarms were detected in the region. Uh, it's 2022. What does the uplift mean? Here's here's a big question that a lot of people want to know, right? And of course, a lot of people, um, geologists and whatnot, will state, uh, "Well, this is just normal activity." Well, volcanic activity and explosions are normal activity if you think about it. But we want to know basically, uh, uh, you know, is this thing going to erupt, or is any volcano going to erupt? Well, eventually, it will again. Uh, but like I mentioned here in the start of this update, we'll see larger earthquake activity. We're going to be monitoring that pretty closely in our updates. Uh, uplift just west of South Sister is probably caused, probably caused by accumulation of magma or magmatic field fluids, uh, water and gas about four miles beneath the surface. The uplift measured since 1995 is probably part of a, we already read this part. The ultimate outcome of the activity is uncertain. Like anything else in life, uncertainty, right? Kind of makes us all wonder what's going on here. Well, there's something to watch pretty closely. That's why we're going to be monitoring this uh, in more detailed updates here. In general, as magma moves closer to the surface, it causes dramatic uplift. Fractures rock to generate intense swarms of earthquakes and releases, uh, of course, volcanic gas such as carbon dioxide. Such activity would be enhanced. Uh, wait, such activity would be detected by the Enhanced Monitoring Network that was installed in the early 2000s. Uh, if the eruption were to occur, it would not necessarily be focused on one of the Three Sisters stratovolcanoes. Uh, wow, okay. The uh, Volcano Observatory will continue to monitor the area for changes that might indicate a change in the style of mag magmatic activity. Okay, so this is the link, USGS Volcanoes, uh, and then you click on the Three Sisters, and then you go to the uh, modern deformation and uplift of the region or uh, volcano updates and you'll get to this article but I will copy and paste this into the description so you guys can read it yourself uh, it's a pretty cool interesting little article and there's a lot of information about it uh, future eruptions and whatnot but uh, you know we all know uh, volcanoes uh, past and in the future can erupt so something to watch pretty closely uh, earthquake activity right now into the central Oregon area uh, not a whole lot going on. We had seen some movement. Let's go back 30 days in all magnitudes uh, real quick in this region. And there's a, uh, there's the activity just west of Bend area. Uh, and that's, we kind of seen that. I remember seeing that last week, but I thought these shallow earthquakes like that uh, wasn't a big deal, but apparently it was. Uh, I got five earthquakes here at the Three Sisters area, negative on the magnitudes, which is kind of odd. But uh, there's the uh, Three Sisters area. And um, there are beautiful volcanoes, and you can definitely see them when you're traveling up here through 97 
uh, northward up into Bend and whatnot. Uh, but wow, definitely have to monitor that pretty closely here. Crater Lake sitting down here a little bit. Uh, they do have activity as well in the region, although last 30 days, nothing popping up. So uh, we'll just continue to monitor it. We'll definitely include it in our updates and I'll see if I can find the GPS uh, monitoring link. I'm pretty sure I have it. I'll include that in the update video as well um, or in the uh, description below. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe so you can get notified of future uh, updates here, folks. And I uh, just thought it was pretty cool. Kind of interesting there. But I might uh, I might be taking a trip up here this weekend. So just FYI, we'll go check it out and see what's going on. Uh, Three Sisters area. I've never been directly at the volcano area. Heck, I don't even know if the, uh, the roads are open going up there through the park. We haven't had too many winter storms uh, this month. So, but I'll check road conditions and whatnot, but uh, definitely on the agenda possibly to go up there and see what, uh, see what could be popping up there. Maybe talk to some geologists and whatnot and see what they say. All right, folks, we're off here. Uh, have a good day. We will chat you a little bit later on this evening uh, with the update video. Peace out, folks.